today we're going to be looking at a beautiful poppy. Welcome back to my channel Casualistic and hi to my new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining me. So today we're going to be looking at this little beauty. It is a poppy um, which is attached to a brooch. So it is a wearable poppy. Um, I'm recording this on the 11th of November so today is Armistice Day. Um, and so I felt it was appropriate um, to obviously put this video up today um, in honour of that and also tomorrow um, certainly here in the UK it is uh, what is known as Remembrance Sunday so our royal family go and uh, lay poppy wreaths um, at the Cenotaph which is um, near Downing Street it's in central London um, and we have all the old time troops or people that have served both in the Second World War and that have served in more recent wars go and lay uh, poppies at the Cenotaph big procession it's quite amazing so if you're not I'm oh, sorry if you're in the UK because obviously you know that but um, I know a lot of you are further afield um, so today it just seemed very appropriate to do a poppy as both today and tomorrow are very much about remembrance and honouring people that have been either in the past in armed services or are actually serving still so um, I'm going to do the yarn and the hook size first. Um, this is a beautiful teeny tiny scrap project. Um, I had very small amounts of um, leftover yarns from other projects which you have seen. Um, what were left over from things sort of fairly recently um, and I've barely used anything out of either of these so it is a great scrap project. You really don't need much yarn at all. Um, so both the yarns um, I've used because I'm actually going to be keeping this uh, for myself. Um, I am intending to put a donation into the Royal Legion uh, money box. Um, so that is something, I, you know, if you do make one of these yourself, please remember to obviously still donate to the Poppy Appeal if you're here in the UK. Um, so both the yarns are Mariner Double Knit. So I'm just going to undo one of the labels from the front because I think most of you are pretty aware of Mariner Double Knit. So both yarns are this brand. Um, now both of them are using older codes. Um, I do know that the uh, green has changed colour very, very slightly, although it's still called the same colour name. It's a, a slightly darker colour than the one I've used. Um, but hey, you can use any double knit. Um, we well, could use Aran or anything really. I mean, the pattern will work for anything. I've used double knit yarns. Um, so this is the little cake that I had. Um, centre pulled it so you can see there's room for my finger um, I've hardly used anything at all um, so the shade uh, for this one is C-032 red like I say it is an older code but they still do red red is red isn't it so it's a bright poppy red or a pillar box red if you're here in the UK or an old phone box red if you if you remember those <laughs> um, and the green so it's Mariner Double Knit again and this one is shade C-067 it's called emerald again it's an older code but I know the newer um, code is slightly different but it is still called emerald and it's a slightly darker shade than this one uh, but green is green so it's double knits and I've used this is my favorite hook that I have it's so smooth I don't know what brand it is but I love it um, and it's a four millimeter hook so um, that's what I've used now materials other than that you will obviously need um, a black button for the centre um, and you will need a brooch back as well. Um, they're both things that I had in my stash and um, I bought um, I think about 50 uh, brooch backs for a couple of quid about three years ago. I've only used a few out of them so I've still got loads. Um, black button actually came out of the stash that um, the stash of buttons that Sean um, from Sean's Crafty Corner um, she actually uh, gave to me for a part of my Christmas present last year um, so I've used one of the buttons out of that um, so thanks Sean um, I'll link her channel down in the description if you haven't come across her I'm sure most of you have but just in case you haven't so the pattern I've used um, I've only got this on my uh, tablet so now pronunciation is not my strong point if you're new to the channel so I appreciate I I apologise if I pronounce this completely wrong, I'm sure somebody will correct me. Um, but it's Era Erwen, I think is how it's pronounced. It's E I R A W E N, um, handmade.blogspot.com. 
www.crochetblog.co.uk and it basically is a, a crochet blog and the uh, one that you want is called Crochet Poppy and it was uh, the post was put up on the 31st of October 2014 so this is quite an old pattern um, she does talk about the um, the poppies that were outside Tower of London at the time um, and that was her inspiration for making the pattern now as far as the pattern goes um, it uses UK doubles, half trebles, trebles and double trebles for in US terminology it is single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and treble crochet so if I get my terminologies muddled up they're the stitches that you will need you also need slip stitch and a magic ring as well um, so um, she does have photographs um, attached for different points in each round um, which did help me now she does say in the blog that she's not um, very good at writing patterns so um, I'm sort of you know putting that out there now it's not the best pattern uh, best and put me English right not the the most well written pattern um, there are a couple of small mistakes in it where just where she's missed things out um, so if you're a complete not a beginner and you have no clue what you're doing then this won't be a pattern to start with um, if you're sort of beyond beginner stage you know you're intermediate or further up you'll be able to figure out for yourself so um, the actual poppy consists of um, two parts um, just get my fingers around it so I can show you so the first petal is like that and then the bottom one is actually identical so basically you're making two of the same thing and overlapping them you can overlap them how you want um, I've done it so um, my grooves are at the side on the back but they're at the top and bottom on the front so it just fills it out a little bit more um, and obviously the leaf is done separately so to start you start in the middle obviously without the button there <laughs> doing magic loop and you do two single crochet in US terms or double crochet in the UK you then chain three and then you do um, US trebles or UK double trebles and you alternate between um, so you do chain three and then do um, a US treble into the same stitch so you then in the next stitch do one you then do in the next stitch you do two and you alternate between one and two until you've got 14 stitches you then chain three um, and at one point um, on I think it was the first section she does tell you to slip stitch down into the next stitch um, the second side of the petal she doesn't tell you to do that so that's where there's a mistake in the pattern um, and once you've slip stitched you do a chain three and you just repeat it round slip stitch back down and fasten off and that's all there is to the petals and you do that twice now for the leaf um, you do a chain 10 um, and then it's basically a case of working um, I'm going to do this in US terminology just because it's easier for me so you do double, half double um, and then you do three uh, uh, you do, sorry you do single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet three trebles and then double, half double um, and single so if you're in the UK, that's double, <laughs> half treble, treble, three double trebles, treble, half treble, double. <laughs> yes, I did it. Um, and you basically do that and then you basically work down one side and then the same up the top, a slip stitch and fasten off. And that's all there is to making it. So it's actually very, very simple. Um, and then for the sewing instructions, um, basically um, you overlap your petals however you want them. Um, I just stitched in and out of the centre circle because it's going to be covered by the button anyway. Um, I then attach the button using uh, red yarn so that obviously it all ties in. Um, I then um, stitched with the tail that I had left over from um, the green, I just stitched up one side I went across through the petals and down just obviously make sure that it doesn't show through your petal so obviously you can see I've not got any yarn showing so just make sure you through go the back part of your stitches um, and secured it and fastened off and then um, just added the brooch um, and you again used uh, matching yarn because um, I can I can manage to get the, the holes are quite big so I could get my yarn needle through that obviously if you 
couldn't get your yarn needle through you'd need to use um, cotton um, and that's it so it's just a black button in the middle um, but I think it's come out super cute um, she does make a nice point to make sure that your leaf is attached at um, 11 o'clock um, because that was the hour that the guns fell silent on Emerson's day so obviously the 11th hour 11th day of the 11th month um, so I've tried to do that I'm not sure I've got it quite perfect but um, it's more or less there um, so that was something I'd not heard before so um, I've tried to do that obviously to make it more appropriate um, so like I said I'll be making a donation to the Royal Legion um, in place of actually buying a poppy and um, I have so many actual poppies from them that have accumulated over the years um, and I just kind of like a crochet one I thought that was kind of uh, more what I'm about now plus it will last forever so um, yeah so I've got a beautiful poppy um, so that's it, it was a su super easy uh, quick pattern, I will obviously do the uh, link for the pattern where you can find it down in the description box, just bear in mind that there is um, that, that slip stitch missing, so there, there are, like I say there are mistakes in the pattern but if you're experienced you'll be able to figure it out pretty easily. Um, so that's it, um, life update there really isn't uh, very much to tell you. Um, I still haven't got my refund from the mistake that was made in uh, the local shop with uh, my energy supplier and everything. That's something I'm still um, chasing up. Um, I think that's going to be a, a bit of a slow slog to get my money back. Um, Chip is still very content and sitting in her cage. Uh, no eggs, which is a very good thing. Um, she's been quite tired, so I think she's kind of worn herself out. Um, she's had a lot of eggs this year. Um, so she's been very quiet and content. She's sitting in the cage beside me. Um, as you can hear she's completely quiet which is highly unusual for her because normally she's quite chirpy but she's been very quiet very content having lots of naps um so she's a very happy content bird at the moment which is a good thing um yeah oh and my i'm trying to think what news i have my car has passed its mot it wasn't quite as expensive as i'd anticipated so that's a huge relief um so now my car is legal again um so that's a big yay uh, <laughs> So that's a huge relief um yeah and aside from that i've been awake since five this morning because i woke up because my tablet decided to do a software update overnight and went really and it lit up at 5 a.m this morning and uh basically lit it's quite bright my tablet and it lit the whole room up and i'm quite light sensitive so i woke up and didn't get meant to sleep so <laughs> i'm a little bit tired but hey um hopefully all that all made sense to you um, so that's pretty much it. Um, the next video will be a yarn haul. Um, I'm not actually sure who it's from. It's um, an order that's come from Purple Linda. So um, whoever it was, I have a sneaky suspicion who it might be and I, I will be planning to message them later today to find out. Um, but regardless, um, so the next video will be a, another yarn haul. Um, so that's very exciting. And after that, I don't know, it just depends what I get finished in the interim. Don't worry, there will be Christmas stuff coming up, but I'm saving that for December because I'm not ready to face Christmas yet. I have to say, I've been very impressed. Um, there was a lot of you that commented and shared what you've been making, both for Christmas um, and just in general. And wow, some of you are so busy and some of you are so organised, you're putting me to shame. Uh, but good on you. Um, it's been lovely hearing what you've been making. So um, keep that up. I still want to hear what you're making and what's inspiring you. Um, I do have um, something a little bit different coming up on the channel in the next, uh, well be by the end of the month I'm hoping, um, I've just got to get myself organised, um, but I actually have a sponsored video um, coming up uh, which will actually will be a clothes haul, um, now um, I did actually put a post up on Facebook about it um, in the Facebook group so if you're not a member of the Facebook group and you want to keep up to date with everything that is the best place to find me, that's where I spend probably most of my time I do tend to forget about Twitter and Instagram I'm afraid sorry guys um, I am very much a Facebook bunny so if you want to keep up to date if I've got any announcements things I want to ask you guys that's the place I usually post um, so I did place a post saying how would you all feel about a clothes haul and um, you'll all benefit by getting a discount code um, and everybody basically said go for it so that's what I'm going to do um, so it will be a very small uh, clothes haul, um, but you guys will all get a, a discount code that will be time limited um, and I've been told by the company, depending on how that uh, video performs, 
i.e. how much uh, custom they get from you guys they may or may not uh, work with uh, me again um, so that will basically depend on uh, whether you guys take up on the offer um, if you do and there, there's enough people that do it then basically they're saying that they'll make it a more regular thing so you guys could benefit long term as well um, and obviously I won't um, endorse any companies that I don't feel passionately about that don't fit my brief of budgeting and um, being in the real world basically so um it's very exciting and um, I think it's stuff that will interest you so it will be a little bit off topic but hey it's good to try new things and um, don't worry this will still be a crochet channel um, but it's just um, a little bit of something exciting that, that people have actually noticed my channel so um, that's uh, yeah, been exciting for me so um, I want to say thank you to all you guys that did uh, post and say go for it um, it's really lovely to have all your, all your support I really do appreciate it um, so that will be coming up later in the month, um, so I'm going to try and do that before the Christmas stuff starts and also to give you time to use the code in case you want to buy Christmas gifts and get a percentage off. Not a bad thing this time of year. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all my news for today. Um, so I'm going to end here, so uh, don't forget the next video will be a yarn haul. So until next time. Remember to stay well, happy crafting, and until next time, remember to stay true to yourself. Bye!